you see George? See George over there grazing in the backyard that needs to be mowed? Oh, Fred's over there somewhere too. Oops, let me get you fixed. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. Oh, that carrier's right in the way. Sorry about the wind noise, folks. We've, Dana's been trying to keep the, her hand in front of the microphone to try to kind of block the wind off of it. Come on, George. Let me find the little rascal. <laughs> Look at there. Did you see that? He just moved again. He's camera shy. Look, there he goes. That's how he lives, right in the backyard. Hey, hey, George. <laughs> Whoops, he ran in the building. Okay. Yep, he's not much of a movie star. Chuck and Dana here, Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. There's a there's look at there, there's Fred and George. There they came back out. We've got a video. If you're a first time comer to our channel, we've got a video out. It's called something about Fred and George, the free range meat mutts. And we introduced these guys to you. They're both bucks. They're Florida white. Well, they're not purebred anything, but as far as breed, they're more Florida white than anything. The reason we call them Fred and George, we name them after the red-headed twins. They're not red-headed, but we name these guys after the red-headed twins on uh, Harry Potter, Fred and George Weasley. There is, there's the other one. Don't ask me which is which. One, all I can tell you for sure is one's Fred and one's George, and I can tell that one right there would be easy to catch. Look at that. He's, he's gone up inside that rabbit cage. So that'd be a good time to catch him if we wanted to, but nah, I don't have any problem catching them. They'll come up. Usually I'm tripping over them, but he, they've been out grazing in the yard. Anyway, I'll just show you a little sight. See all the mess? See all that trash and garbage and what have you? Folks, And when it's summertime out here, you want to come out and get what you have to get done done and get back in the air condition. And I'm not, I'm, 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 I know that's, uh, I know that's a terrible way to be, but, you know, we have heat extremes here in Arkansas that are to the point that, you know, they can kill you pretty quick if you're not careful. There have been some that didn't make it during the we heat. have that's why we have fans and what have you on the rabbits uh, rabbits are miserable starting to get miserable at 80 degrees so you know we have heat indexes in the in, in, in the in the neighborhood of 110 degrees pretty consistently through the month of July and part of August so uh, and, and this is September now but we just haven't got it caught up but we're gonna get we're gonna get all this stuff cleaned up and it, the leaves are starting to fall, so it's going to all need to be raked up and, and what have you. And, but I mean, we've got, we've got, she's got the ducks to show you. 